What's up guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I'm gonna to be going over how to use natural materials to make cordage with. And <clears throat> this is a very valuable survival skill. You know, it's, it's borderline primitive survival, but you know, I think also modern survivalists should know how to do it as well, just because cordage is valuable. I mean, you know, if you go out in the woods for any given amount of time and do some type of, you know, survival training, bushcraft or something like that, you're gonna realize very quickly how much you need cordage. It's one of those things that, that you, we just need as people, we need it. Um, but, you know, uh, most time I like, you know, 550 cord, 550 pound strength, uh, I like bank line, you know, the inner cords of paracord is also cool. You can split bank line. But, um, you know, is this kind of natural cordage gonna have that same breaking strength? You know, no, it's not gonna have 550 pounds, but it's gonna be very durable. I mean, you know, you can see here, this is something that I tied and that stuff is not breaking. And this is, uh, you know, from a palm leaf here, some type of palm leaves. And this is actually from tulip poplar bark here. And I mean, this is called the reverse wrap and it's gonna make your cordage look just like rope, like a small uh, fine rope, you know, or bank line. But if you're using some type of tulip bar poplar bark or some type of uh, inner canning bin layer, of bark you want to keep that stuff wet while you're doing it and keeping it wet also just makes it more moist and, and, and able to use but like I said this stuff is strong and like I said cordage is in, in bushcraft and survival very important thing very important to know how to do but let's go ahead and go over the technique okay guys so first off you know when you're using some kind of bark like this you're gonna want it you know somewhat wet so just you know damp it up just to make it workable and then uh, this is like I said this is tulip poplar bark you just want to kind of get it good and wet, or damp, I should say. You don't want it really soaking. Then just, you know, just kind of bring that out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take, you know, one section, and you want to leave one side longer than the other when you start. So something like that. You know, uh, this is a very short piece, but, you know, you may want something a lot longer than this if you can. But just leave one side longer than another, and take and pinch it. And then just start, take the top side and twist away from you. So roll it this way. So roll it this way until it bunches up. And then bring it down and bring the other piece up, the underneath piece. And then just twist away like this. And then bring it towards you. So you twist away, twist away. And then bring that one down and towards you. So bring that one back this way. So twist away and then move it down and back towards you. Twist away from you and bring it back down towards you. And you'll see it's already starting to knot up like rope there. So twist away and then twist down towards you. Twist away. So basically every time you twist a single piece, you twist it away from you and then when you get done twisting and holding it and pinching. Every time you pinch, you, I mean you move up, pinch up, and then twist it toward towards you. So the piece you just twisted goes down, and then take the other next piece and twist away, and bring it down. And you can see, I mean, and you can, you know, crank out uh, a lot of cordage in a very little bit of time. You can see, you know, so if you're sitting around the campfire at night, you know, you've, uh, in a survival situation, you want to keep your mind occupied because boredom will, you know, stress you out and make things worse than what they are. Let's see, I'm, you know, you move very fast. So you can see there, very good uh, section of cordage there. You know, just a few seconds, maybe like a minute or so. And you got a good piece of cordage, but you notice a little like rope. When it, let, now, once you run out of this, you're gonna need to add more if you need a long piece of cordage, so let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, guys, so now you know, you're, you've know you worked through a good length of cordage there, but let's say you need more or longer piece, you know. The reason why I told you to keep one side longer than the other is because this is how you add more into it. So what you're gonna do is you can see where you've ran to right here, you're gonna take the new piece and just kind of add it in this section and start rolling, you know, rolling like you normally do, you know, pinch the working section you're working and twist this away just like you normally would and then bring it down 
and twist a new section and bring it down. And now what you're essentially doing is working in that new piece. So you're going to twist away and bring it down, twist away and bring it down, twist away and bring it down, twist away and bring it down. Just keep working that piece in there. And you know, you can, you know, pretty much, you know, make any kind of length of cords you want. And, and that's a good thing uh, to be able to do because I see a lot of people that teach how to do this. They only teach, you know, how to make short section. They don't show how to make additions to it. Now, I just want to hurry up and wrap this up. And you see how quick I'm moving through this. You know, you keep practicing this, you'll get fairly good at it. And you'll notice that the cordage doesn't look any different there. You can see that. I mean, it's just looks like one straight piece of cordage, uh, like, like something you'd buy, <laughs> essentially. So now, you can see there's the end of the cordage. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it because and show you that it doesn't affect the strength whatsoever if you want to start in about two inches you know you want about two inches to work it into to give it that strength so you can see my new quarter starts from about right there so that's about good two inches two and a half inches that i've worked in there now i probably want to go ahead and add a new piece to this section here but you can see here even with that new stuff it's not going anywhere i mean that's some strong stuff but Hopefully, you know, this will help you learn how to tie cordage, um, natural cordage. I think this is an essential skill. But uh, check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more tips and tutorials. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.